So let's yes. first test the initial state. Let's make sure that when we created this view controller, it's not rendering anything on the screen, the empty case. So initial state is empty. We always start with the simplest thing. Because if we try to start with the very complex test, you might get in a rabbit hole here and then you never finish. It's too complex setup. Yeah, and you're going to miss also a bunch of cases that, you know, if you start gradually from zero and start adding uh, more cases, you're you're going to have to implement those. So absolutely. And this is the event here, right? So load view is the event and we want to see, okay, what's going to happen when we load the view. So we arrange, we act, and then we assert. So we assert here that maybe the number table view dot number of rows should be zero. We should have zero rows. Mm -hmm. Actually, I I st in starting itself means I try to test the main thing and as you said that go for the initial step means one by one. So when I start with those things means some somewhere it fails and means I'm not able to figure out, then I leave it. So these things repeat, yeah, I got to means we have to start from the yeah. initial end. Yeah. If you start from the hard parts, you might get stuck and then you don't have time. It's like, oh, forget it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. But if you yeah. start from the simplest case and start building and building more and more complex, it's much, much simpler. And you see progress because you'll be seeing like, Test passing, okay, next, passing, okay. And you build your test suite out of those simple steps.